Hi guys, David here. In today's video, we're going to make a tool caddy or a toolbox. The reason being, my toolbox is full of old motorcycle parts and I need another one to carry my tools around. So uh, it's an easy project. Let's get into it. So the tools you're going to need for this project, we're going to need a handsaw, we're going to need some marking out equipment like a 90 degree angle, a pencil, a tape measure, we're going to need a drill and a bit large enough for a, a broomstick handle. This one happens to be 23 and this is 23. If it's a bit bigger, no problem, or a bit smaller, sand the stick. So you're going to need a drill. You're going to need a hammer and some nails, and we're going to need a few boards. Now, the size, it, it's just whatever size toolbox you need, basically. These are some bits of scrap I just picked up off the shelf, and they're all the same width. That was what was important for me. So I've got the bottom and the ends, and then the sides of the box are just a different width board. So the length and width doesn't really matter. Whatever you've got, that will determine the size of your toolbox. Oh, and you can use a bench hook perhaps to hold your work to saw it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you just want to check that your boards are all the same thickness. If it was one board to begin with on the length, fine, then you're just going to cut it up. I picked up a few different size scrap pieces but they're all the same width. You're going to need a longer piece for the bottom of the box and then two shorter pieces for the ends, like this. Okay, so just check the bottom of your box for squareness. This is square and this is square, so I don't need to do anything about this. If it wasn't square, saw it square. If you're not quite sure how to saw square, there'll be a link for a video up here on how to saw square and straight. And now the two ends of my box, I'm just going to check if they've got any square edges. Okay, so this has got a square edge there. And I've got a square edge here, so this is really cool. Now all I need to do is decide how tall is the end of the box. And whereabouts do I want the handle? So I'm just going to put this piece to one side. And that's my maximum height. So I'm going to make them both that height. So all of this needs to go. And I need to drill a hole for the handle in about the middle. What have I got here? 19 centimeters. Half of 19 is uh, nine and a half. So nine and a half. Nine and a half. So I'm just gonna saw this off first to make these two boards the same. Okay, so I'm just gonna mark a line down this edge as well. Now it's not too critical that this is square because we're going to cut this into a bit of a triangle in a minute anyway. Okay, so now these two pieces are the same. What I want to do now, I've marked the middle. From either side of the middle I'm going to go out oh, about two centimetres from the middle. Two centimetres from the middle. And then with my 45 degree angle here, I'm going to put that on that two centimeter mark and draw a line. Can you see that? And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Do the same with this one. From the middle, one, two centimeters, make a mark. One, two centimeters, make a mark. 45 degree angle on the mark. Okay. 
Okay, so now these corners need to go. And we need to drill a hole for the handle. So let's just mark that while we've still got some straight edges to mark and measure from. I don't want to leave the short grain here too short. If I drill very close to here, that short grain is going to pop out with the weight of the, of the tools in the box. So we should leave here about three centimeters to keep it nice and strong from the edge of the hole. And if the hole I'm drilling was, uh, we say 23 mil, so three centimeters and another one and a half centimeters or something like that. So four, four and a half centimeters from there, I'm going to mark the center of my hole. And mark a line from the middle. This is the middle of the board and this is four and a half centimeters from the top and here we're going to drill a hole for the handle and I've just marked the other one exactly the same. So before I saw off the corners, I'm just going to drill this hole while I've got something to hold on to as well. So I don't drill a hole in my table, just put a bit of scrap wood underneath. And this is a spade bit. And I measured it with the caliber earlier. The bit is 23 and this bit of old broomstick is the same size. Now if you haven't got a caliber, you can just drill a hole and check the size until you find something that it fits through. With a spade bit, the entry hole is quite clean, but the exit hole isn't so good. So I'm gonna drill until the point pops out the other side, and then I'm gonna finish the hole from the other side so I'll have a clean hole on both sides of the board. There we are. Can you see that? The point just came through here in the pith exactly. So there we are. And I've got a nice clean hole here, a nice clean hole here. And hopefully, there we are, the broomstick just fits nicely in there. So now I'll just drill the other one the same. Now I'll just pop through the other side. Now keep your work surface clean because the wood's all wobbling around on a pile of sawdust. You don't have much choice, chance of getting a good clean hole. There we are. Now I'm going to cut off these corners. Now you might find it a bit difficult starting at an angle. Your saw's going to keep sort of veering off. So you can even just give it a little bit of a groove perpendicular to the surface like this and then once you've got that little notch you can get started without the saw veering off on the edge So now we've got to this situation, we've got the two ends, we've got the bottom, now we need the two boards that go on the side. So I'm just going to take my measure and measure what I've got here, 51 and a half, 51 and a half. 
So now, I need to cut 51 and a half out of this twice. Just check if I've got a square edge to begin with. I do. Now I can actually use the bench hook for an arrow board like that. Okie dokie! This is the last one. Cut on the waist side of your line. So now what remains is to connect everything together. I'm just going to mark the middle because I want the nail to fall in the middle of this piece. And also I need nails to go into here so I'm going to mark a line here about the middle as well. Because these nails are very close to the end of the board, these ones, I'm just going to blunt the end of the nail to help prevent this splitting here on the edge seems to be quite a controversial topic, I have another video talking about it, um, it helps me, if it doesn't help you that's fine, maybe it's just my belief. And also, if you knock your nails in a little bit crooked, not totally straight, they'll grip much tighter. If the two nails are like this, it's very hard for them to pull out. If they're both straight in, they'll pop out much easier. Now here I've got much less likelihood of splitting. And this board's slightly cupped, can you see that? So I'm going to put the cup down like this so it'll sit flat the toolbox afterwards. If I put it this way, it's rocking. So I'm going to put the cup down. Okay, so I'm just going to pay attention to one corner at a time and I'm going to pop a couple of nails. Just paying attention to this being flush and at the bottom here being flush. Same over here, getting all this flush first of all. Before I connect the bottom, I'll do the two ends. I can start to line up the bottom. things are a little bit out of line, before you knock the nail fully through, you can just use your hammer to realign it. So just put your nail in a little way, put it in a little bit and then you can give some taps and adjust and then drive the nail the full way. Okay, now I need to mark this piece the same. So in about the middle. And then about the middle of the bottom. I think 
like that. That's great. Now you could sand your pieces before assembling if you wish. It's only a toolbox, so I'm not going to get too hung up about the finish. Okay, so now just make sure everything's flush. Just pull everything up tight now. Need to cut out a bit of broomstick to length. So let's have a look. Now this is definitely not rocket science guys, so don't get don't get too hung up about measurements and stuff. Now, to knock this in place, to lock it in place so it doesn't move either way, we're going to drill a hole here and here and put a dowel through. This is a piece of 6mm dowel I just found, so I'm going to drill a 6mm hole through here and here and just pop these pins in to lock it all in place. I just, when I check the size of this dowel, I saw it's slightly undersized. So I took a 5mm drill bit, I'm just going to drill a hole in a bit of scrap here. And I think a 5mm hole, this should, no, no, it won't go through a 5mm, so I'll drill a 6 Okay, so I'm actually going to try with a 6mm bit now, just drill a hole. So it's going to need a drop of glue to hold it in place, no, no problem. So now, if you like, you can measure exactly the same from the ends. I'm not going to. I'm just going to eyeball it. And that'll be one. Cut a little bit off, but I'll leave that like that a second. Now I can drill the other one. Well, it doesn't have to be tight, you can leave a little bit of uh, play here, no problem. There we are. So now just need to cut a couple of little pieces of the dowel. Take a finer tooth saw cutting these little things. And so we'll just put a teeny bit of glue on there. Like that. 
Got another little bit the same size. A little bit of glue. Okay, so there you go guys. We built a toolbox today. I hope you're gonna have a go at home. You can use any old wood. It doesn't need to be a new board as well. Use what you've got, make a toolbox and uh, get handy. So if you liked it, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.